Welcome back to What RT Noobs for General Disturbance. This is an E25, a tier 7 German premium tank destroyer. It's located on the north spawn of Mines Encounter and it's under the command of Chickens 1003 of the BBCLB clan. And watch this battle because it'll go really quickly. <laughs> Game on. Well, the cockroach. 75mm armed and he's blasting away straight away from the start with his gun raised. I think he feels confident and he should be. Watch how this battle unfolds. Well, the animal has gone straight for the hill. He gets one hit and sets a light on MX-12 ton, but he does receive one round from the enemy E-25 and then turns to shoot at the enemy tanks. He's got a kill. Take out the VK-2801105. Pumps around into a Hell... I think it was the Hellcat. And now he's taking on the Star 1. This battle is going really quickly. He's pumping the shells in. His teammate in the G-Saw 1010 managed to get the kill on the Star 1 to stop him from killing uh, chickens. Now Chicken's trying to get in position to take out what remains of the enemy. And the AMX M445 has gone down. Okay, just around the corner we've got a Churchill. She's really noticed how much danger he's in. He's in the Black Prince. Not a Churchill. The upgraded Churchill, we should say. Up armoured. Trying to get a shot on the guy. He can't get a shot. This battle is going at a ferocious pace. It's 8-0 already, and the enemy started capping. They're desperate. They're being torn to shreds. When he's turned around, he's going back into the hill, because I think he wants to get at the enemy from their rear. Or maybe he's going to shoot off the hill to the south and take out the enemy in the distance. Well, SMBCC's 56. Didn't get a pen with that one. Trying to go for the lower plate. He's not getting much luck with the standard, but he does finally get a pen. Pulls back. There's an FB304 and a short distance away. And he auto aims on, but it's too late because the GSAW 1010 gets the kill. He auto aims on to the Pesotto and he's pumping the rounds in. One every two seconds. And the Basotto's gone. I think that G-Saw's trying desperately not to knock him off the edge of the cliff. Okay, SMB CC6056 is just around the corner. Two of his teammates are going for him. And in fact, actually, the, the SMV is the last enemy. Everyone else has been wiped out. It's a 14-0. Now it's 15-0. And the game's finished with less than three minutes. Here's the end of battle results, and that was a 15-0 victory in less than three minutes. It was a second-class tanker for Chickens 1003 in the E25. He got a five for effect for doing more damage than the hit points to his own vehicle. Bruise medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got six, and he got a confederate for hitting more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. His win eight was 3,165, which is super unicum standard. But, oh my gun, that was a quick kill, a quick victory. The highest damage actually went to the GSAW 1010 with 3,060 hit points. Second highest damage went to chickens with 2,175. And the third highest damage went to the batch at 12 ton, who got 1,722. Uh, GSAW managed to get the highest number of kills, five. Two kills went to the SMV CC56 on his own team and the T52. And the uh, T52 got the Scout, the G-Saw got the High Caliber, and of course, Chickens got the Confederate. And when it came to base XP, it's the G-Saw who came out on top there. So uh, he's got the highest damage in the game, highest number of kills and highest base XP. 1,108 went to him, 979 went to Chickens, and 769 went to the Batchat 12 ton. 
what a fast and furious game. Let's have a look at the detail report. He fired 28 rounds in the game, got 19 direct hits and 15 penetrations, 2,175 hit points of damage, of which 381 were at more than 300 meters. Most of those shots were the ones he fired off the hill towards the south, trying to hit the enemy as they were hiding. Four hits received from the enemy, Three of those were penetrations, one non-penetrations, and of course he did receive quite a lot of attention uh, whilst he was still sitting around the entrance. He took one round in the side from the enemy E25 right at the start as he went into the hill, and then he started receiving other rounds from the enemy, uh, specifically from that Star 1, who was determined to kill him, but then the G-Saw came to his rescue and saved him in the end. He damaged seven of the enemy, killed one of them, and did 222 hit points of damage assistance in the game. On a premium count, he actually made 64,997 credits from the game, and he got 30 bonds for a mission achievement. And on top of that, he actually picked up 6,903 experience points as well after completing another XP mission down there. Sorry about my throat being sore. That battle went so quickly. I barely had time to commentate on it but it was a very, very quick one. Let's have a look at the time. Two minutes, 58 seconds. Now, that is definitely the fastest 15-0 victory we've seen on our channel so far. We do have a playlist for the fastest 15-0 games, and I believe that uh, I'm, I'm actually appearing in one of those. I think it was a Tier 10 game. I was a Tier 8 RT and yes, I did appear in it, but it was um, nowhere near as short as this one. This one was really, really short indeed. Two minutes 58. It's incredibly short. It shows the matchmaker has got it completely wrong for them to be that many kills on one side in under three minutes. In fact, that battle was so quick. I think we ought to run it again and see it again to see exactly how he did it. Let's start. Well, we're watching from Chicken's perspective as he starts this game. And we can see that to his right is the G-Saw 1010, who was so active in that battle. Now, he did fire a couple of rounds. He raised his gun as he did it, as he was going in. North Team always gets an advantage in getting into the hill quickly, and the G-Saw was quick. But look what happens, he went in, he did take a round in the side from the E25. Yep, there goes one. And he got around into one of the enemies. He pumps around into the back of that BK and he gets the kill. Then he pumps around into the Super Hellcat. And here comes the Star 1, determined to kill him. And he does get some damage. There's the third round from the star. And he's still trying to get rounds in. And finally, the star one goes down to the G-Saw, saved him. So he did take a lot of damage from that star one, down to just less than a third of his hit points. And behind that wreck, we can see the AMX M445. And he take taken out by the SMB CC56. Or was it the, no, it's the G-Saw 1010 again. Now, he did have a bit of difficulty trying to get the gun to bear on the Black Prince. He did poke up, so he managed to get one in. But once he tried to shoot him around the corner, he got caught on this rock. And then he got one in. And before he could get the third one in, the guy went down. Now, he didn't really want to go around the corner because if he did, he'd be vulnerable to that Junu with his low, alpha, low, low um, hit points left. So he decided he was going to go back into the hill and try and finish off the guy in the south from on top of the hilltop. Yeah, first shell went on on the hard spot on the SMB. But he did manage to get that one in because it went in at an angle and caught the weak armor. He tried to get the Burt. But the G-Saw was just too quick. And then he tried to get the Pesotto as well. Got a couple of shots in. 
and he's now one shot. And there's the kill shot. And that time it went to the T-52. So the G-Saw's finished. He's not going to shoot over here. SMV CC-56 is the last one alive. And he backs up, but the SMV goes down in the end to one of our teammates. And there's the, the last kill went to the Black Prince on our team. And that's it. Game over. That was very, very fast indeed. So I reckon it's going to be some time before we get another replay that's as short as this one. This one definitely has the record for the fastest 15 nil victory so far. Uh, I don't think it's going to be beaten for a long time because 2 minutes 58 seconds is unbelievably fast. So, um, yes, if you know of a 15 nil victory that you participated in, and uh, you'd like to send the replay in, we will do it. We will put it up because, of course, it's another indication to Wargaming they got the matchmaking wrong. But it is interesting if you were actually involved and if you're on the winning team as well. Sometimes it's a little um, depressing when you're on the losing team because you are taken out so quickly. But uh, yes, please do send it in if you do get a good one that's below 2 minutes 58 seconds. I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.